Now let's try the dila, which is the beef tongue. Again, drown it in vinegar. Put it on top of my porridge. Some more vinegar. Cheers. Three years. It's probably the longest time I've been away from home. And for my comeback, I thought of bringing you to my home province in Bulacan. And what better way to start than to highlight the capital city of Malolos. Malolos Bulacan takes pride in its rich historical and cultural heritage as the birthplace of the first constitutional democracy in Asia. It's also famous for its cuisine and traditional delicacies. We went on a short day trip, but I know we've barely scratched the surface. So in this three-part series, I'm excited to share with you all the delicious kakanins from a well-known institution. So here they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kinds of kakanins. So let's try. Mm. Really good classic Filipino Chinese dishes from a local panceteria. And then this one is the Li Fu chicken, their speciality, drenched in some kind of red sauce. This one is the leg part. Mm. Including unique snacks you will only find here. Now let's try the empanada de kaliskis. Look how flaky it is. It actually reminds me of the curry puff that you can get in Singapore because it comes in many layers. And then let's see, let's break it in half. Oh, look at that. Mm. And today, we're starting off with one of the established Lugawans in the city, Lugaw ni Abel. They started in 1989 serving plain Lugaw and became popular when they added cow's brain and ice to their menu. Well, that sounds like a good way to warm our tummies up for this Malolos food trip. just arrived here at Lugaw Ni Abel. Bright and early, it's 8 a.m. in the morning here in Malolos, Bulacan. We're starting the exploration, food explorations here with porridge. So let's go try Lugaw Ni Abel. Alright, so we've ordered up our lugao and uh, side dishes. We have here the laman, which is like the meat. I believe this is like beef meat. And this is dila, which is like beef tongue. This is goto, which is like beef tripe. And I've already drowned them individually in vinegar. They have a spiced vinegar here with some chilies, I believe with some garlic and some other spices. Of course, everything goes with this plain lugao, which is porridge cooked with, I believe, or beef parts. This is what lugao ni Abel is known for here in Malolos, Bulacan. So this one is topped with fried garlic. So let's try the lugao as is. Mm. Oh, 
really comforting. I mean, I woke up early morning, not really feeling completely well. To start it with porridge, it's just very comforting. Mm. A little bit savory and sweet from the garlic. Mm. Now let's try it with the laman. Put some vinegar on top of it. Put it onto my porridge. Get some more vinegar. That's the way I like it. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. This is like plainly boiled beef meat. And I love the vinegar. It's a little bit spicy actually. So it contrasts the savoriness of the lugao. Now let's try the dila. Again, drown it in vinegar. Put it on top of my porridge. Some more vinegar. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's very tender. I'm not sure if most people in a lot of countries eat tongue, but it's one of my favorites because if you cook it right, if you make it really soft, it's really delicious and it just tastes like beef meat. This is really soft. I imagine they have cooked this and boiled this for so long. Mm. Next is the beef tripe. This is one of my favorites as well because of its chewy texture. Let's try. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Chewy. At the same time, soft. And that's the perfect texture you want from the tripe. It means it's been boiled for so long again. And that's what they're doing right here. The porridge is just on the oilier side. But if you like it like that, then it's it's for you. I like it a little bit less oily because I'm not my throat is not feeling well this morning. That's why you know we're starting with porridge but overall it's cheaper and I believe uh, Lugo Niabel is an institution it's been established here in Malolo since 1989 people from the neighborhood all the locals here come for their comfort food Lugo to start their day or for lunch or dinner quite a heavy meal to share with the family and to fill up your tummy with warmth give this 6 out of 10 for a neighborhood find. Not the best porridge that I've tried but from here in Malolos, it's a good start. Lugo ni Abel. If you want to try, you can come here. I'll put the link in the description box with the address. On the next video, we'll keep on trying different cuisines or different local delicacies here in Malolos. So I'll see you in Malolos, Bulacan.